hello everyone welcome back to the channel and in this tutorial i am going to show you this custom made write note called pro write so this is made by one of my friend shubham i will put the link in the video description so you can download this one and it's totally free so this is a demo video of this tool so i will uh, show you each and every feature and how to use this tool in your project so this is very good for uh, a solo artist so if you are working from home and if you are a freelance uh, this is very good for you and this is also very good for uh, small studios because it's uh, it's a very uh, you know pipeline friendly tool so we will going to see the entire feature and how to uh, set this up in your nuke so let's get started so the first thing you have to do you have to download this tool i will put this link in the video description this is the github file so you can uh, download this is the latest version 1.82 you can download this one as a zip and just extract this one and put in your folder in this uh, your new directory this is the pro right we can put this entire folder in your dot uh, new folder after this one just open your any dot py and put this line here new dot plugin add path and just mention the folder and then uh, you just have to restart your new and you are good to go so after opening new i have this a uh, basic com setup here so here i will explain you everything so i have this checkerboard here and i already have this uh, pro right uh, node here so i will leave this in a side and i will take a new one so this is the tool and this is the interface let's connect to this uh, checkerboard so let's uh, understand the basics uh, so this is a write node okay this is a custom made write node and it have a very nice feature the first thing you can see uh, we have this usual stuff uh, this pro write menu here this ocio and we have this extra tab here we will talk about this one so the first let's see this pro write tab here this is the default what we already have in this uh, write note and here you can select uh, exr and mov all those and you have uh, options here for movies and pngs like if you drop down menu you can see and let's switch to exr and let's set this color space to linear then you have this pro write menu so this is the main thing about this node we have this file path here so this file path will automatically come so the first thing we have to set we have to set the project folder as you can see we have this project folder here sequence and the short folder so if you are managing the folder structure for your you know pipeline base so this is very helpful or if you are not following any folder structure you just have a one plate and you just have one comp and you just need to render once i mean it's just a one shot then in this situation you can also use this one you don't need to put everything here so the first thing you have to add the most important thing is the project folder so i i already have a project folder as you can see here this one so what i can do i already have this setup here so i'm just creating a one new folder inside and this is my main folder so like abc so this is like abc so this is my folder project folder so i'm opening here as you can see once i add this one you can see this in this file path everything will add automatically so this is your uh, whatever you are rendering this is the entire file path will be adding over time so next we have the sequence right sequence and short so if you are i mean as i said if you are managing the sequence and short uh, if you have that you can put it here but first let's see i don't have a folder here if you if i open here inside this abc project folder i don't have any folder so you don't need to worry you just need to type here like if i'm typing sequence uh, let's see uh, if i'm typing like gr so i have this gr sequence and the short name is like let's start from 0010 so i have this uh, in the file path you can already see it's already done here so we have this project folder here then we have this gr sequence then we have the short and inside we have this com folder because the render type is com that's why it's coming here there are many render type here you can see and then we have this file path based on this uh, comp so we have this comp you can also select pre comp you can see the pre comp is automatically set here and then we have all other things so let's render the comp first and after selecting comp you can also add a rename here but in the comp we usually don't rename so but in the pre comp we can do a rename but first let's see the comp and here is a version so you can you know plus your versions here and you can minus version here so let's render the version one and you can see the frame range but currently you can see the timeline frame range is one to 100 so yeah you can select from here project or input so i need to set from project i'm selecting so it's already set and this is the render order and uh, this is the create read node so let's render this one in the first frame so i'm rendering only one frame add a grade assume i'm doing some comp adding this color 
like this one and i'm rendering this one so we don't have this folder but this uh, node will automatically create so let's hit render and this is the pop-up you will get is saying uh, frame range one and uh, this is the file path so do you want to render yes so render is done after this one here you can just click this one create read node and it will automatically take this uh, latest render now if you zoom in see this, this is the project name this is a sequence and this is a short name and this is a comp and this is the version comp version 001 all right if you go into this pro right you can see this file path and you have this option open folder if you click here you can see we have this render and as well as you can see we have this script so this is the another very nice feature of this tool it automatically create a new script it's like a backup new script whatever you can see this is saying comp so why because here we selected a comp whatever we do upside and when when we hit render that time it will save this entire new script whatever the stage you did the last change it will save that new script so let's assume i'm doing a pre-comp and now i can just you know in the pre-comp in pre-comp we usually do a renaming so this is the red color so that's why i'm doing a red so now you can see here let me move this one you can see abc gr short number pre-comp and red all right so let's render this one one frame yes and let's read this one so you can see it's very easy you can directly read in a nuke so we have this red and let's open this folder now you can see this is a render and if i open this you can see this is project is properly named and you can see it's a pre-comp red so you know this is a pre-comp red script so you know exactly so this render and i have a this script for this render so it's creating a backup script so if you need to change anything like uh if you render like version 2 and i'm rendering this one reading it uh, let me do a change so we can understand so i'm going here let's assume i change this color right here and in version 2 i'm rendering this one so i'm showing you the uh, scenario so i have this so let's see we have this much change all right and this is the latest version and this one is the previous version right so in any case if you want to go back in your this version whatever the change you did in this com in this script in this pre-com script that time it's very useful so you can directly you know jump here you can do a version one and you can jump directly and you can see this is the version one this is the version one script and you can open this one and you can see where you did the changes and you can you know uh, basically you can uh, back of your uh, stuff from it that's why it's very useful and in the mini studio we have this feature we can you know when we render anything the backup script is automatically saved in a folder like uh, like we have here we have render and the script is inside here so it's very very useful so this is the another you know uh, big what you call feature for this uh, custom write node like we have pre-comp on this one and like this is a similar you can render any layer you want now the next thing is very useful for this node like if i'm taking another pro right if i can show you so you can see everything is empty all right so one thing you can do you can you know manually go here and you know go back select this one you can manually select and it will automatically fail but i mean if you are doing multiple times i mean this is very small but in the big script we have uh five six seven or maybe ten twelve pre-coms so in that situation it's not possible you know to go and do everything here it's very time taking right so this uh pro right have very nice feature if you go here we talk about everything here right and you can go to this extra tab so here you can see this uh, big button you have autofill from existing pro write what it does basically it will take a uh, existing pro write node whatever the path we have here set it will take from it will take this entire path and it will put it here uh, directly i mean in this one here but if you go here in the extra you can see use this button uh, to fill use this button to auto fill the project folder sequence short and the color space and the frame range also field from the existing node with the name pro write one or pro write main node so in the script if it found okay if not found then rename any pro write to pro write main to refer the node to in the future in the future so what is mean basically i will show you so now we have a two hub right all right so in this one i have this path it's not matching and in this one i have this path all right so in this two one i have a different path right uh, in this third one it's empty so if i click autofill so let's assume uh, this this one is your main so let's assume this one is your final render uh, 
flowride node right if you are rendering this one this is the final render so let me set this one to comp all right so this is the final comp and i want uh, whatever the path we set it here i want this part to every pro right node for that what you need to do you need to open this one you need to put it one or you need to put here main you need to rename here otherwise it will take uh, whatever the pro right one have it file path it will copy this one and it will put in this empty one uh, but in this situation i i rename this one pro right main so it will prioritize this one and it will take this path and it will put here if i go here we click uh, this one autofill you can see here it taking this path this pro right main one so this is the main thing you need to understand otherwise it will take whatever the pro right one have the all the path it will copy and it will paste here so now if i take any multiple pro right and if i just go here and sit autofill you can see it's automatically done now you just need to set pre comp or whatever render you, you need you need to just set here and you are good to go so this is the another feature of this tool and as i said if you go here pre comp open path you can see uh, in this pre comp you can see how the uh, structure is working so i'm going back all right so this is the abc and this is the gr gr sequence if i open this one this is this is the shot if i open this shot in this shot i have a comp and pre comp also right so you can see these two folders if i open inside you can see the entire folder uh, entire the folder structure name if i open we have this render and the new script if i go back the pre comp and in this one we render two versions so you can see version one and version two with the proper naming so this is the way uh, this workflow is flowing and this is the way you can you know uh, use this node and it's very useful and he is constantly improving this tool so you will see many features in upcoming uh, versions so this is this tool uh, so this is the pro right make sure you download uh, i will put a link in the video description and let me know what you think and go and support the shubham he is very talented uh, he have many tools in his website Uh, he already shared in a linkedin you can check his profile also i will put the his profile link in the video description also and uh, let me know what do you think about this tool and if you have any questions please let me know in the comment we will see you in the very next one have a great day